everyone how's one doing here today thank you for watching and um, well this is just one thing I've made videos about this in the past because we see the same cycle over and over again I mentioned it briefly at the uh, from the RNC convention which was a total shit show but here we are yet we have yet another invasion and uh, if I remember correctly to Trump it wasn't just like south of the border it was like all these other countries you know they're letting in uh, the crimes, their mental patients, they're emptying out all their prisons and mental boards and sending them all down to America. The invasion is here, folks, yet again. Here's the thing I don't understand, and this is for the MAGA folk out there. Maybe you can give me a good reason, because I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Why do you keep buying the same lies over and over again? Really. I mean, like I said, even around election time, you see the same pattern, you see the same talk, the same uh, demonization of immigrants and migrants. And a lot of you guys fall for it. I still get people every now and then that when I do a post about Trump's policies, or lack of, I should say, some of them respond to me and they say, uh, hey, uh, you know, what about the border and everything? What about it? I mean, is it a problem? Yes. Does it need resolving? Yes. Are there ways of doing it without putting children in cages? Absolutely. But um, uh, the GOP doesn't want to do that because, and what they seem to overlook or just aren't aware of that not too long ago a bipartisan uh, solution was created by both de negotiated by both uh, Democrats and Republicans uh, I forget the Republican that helped draft it but it was ready to be voted on and Mike Johnson being the feckless coward that he is you know got word from Trump and Trump said no we don't want to give the Democrats a victory and plus I need that uh, fear monger on so uh, they pulled the plug on it so in the end and here we are now. Oh, yeah, another invasion. Uh, the migrants, uh, people from all around the country, they're coming to America. They're going to steal your jobs. They're going to kill you, skin you alive, drink your blood. And they're going to make your children and your pets gay. You believe that one, they'll tell you another. Why do you keep buying the same lies over and over again? i got to believe that there are plenty of you out there that are intelligent enough, but yet are still like, well, yay light, or maybe that, or the migrants, but it doesn't matter, I'm still going to support them. And you hear the lies over and over again. I could go back and give you a whole bunch of facts and statistics on how, like, immigration isn't as bad as you think it is. Or I can, like I said, talk about more on the previous proposal. But, you know, again, you guys don't want to hear that. You just, I don't know, you seem to delight in being lied to and believe, being manipulated. And like I said, I cannot wrap my head around it. But for those of you that are keep uh, want to be believing the BS, then that's your choice. But guess what? You don't have to worry about that. You know why? Because after Election Day, when Kamala Harris defeats Trump, that, um, you know, uh, the invasion, guess what's going to happen? November 6th on, it's going to disappear like it always does. Right after Election Day, that invasion that was about to take over America, just, I don't know, they get bored and they say, eh, maybe some other time. Of course, uh, a few years later, when the midterms come up, I'm sure there'll be yet another invasion, and it'll be the same rhetoric, BS nonsense we hear time and time again, and you guys will buy into it, but at least, you know, I can say, hey, I told you so, yet again. So, why you guys allow yourself to keep being lied to and everything is beyond me. And yeah, I know some of you are going to pivot to like, uh, Democrats lie too. Yeah, I get that politicians have a tendency to hide the truth or distort facts. But when it becomes so blatant, when it becomes so repetitious, when it becomes so obvious where just a little fact-checking can prove them wrong, you got to ask yourselves, why do I keep listening to this guy? Why do I keep listening to this party that is clearly not looking for a solution to the problem? Why? By all means, leave a comment. You know, I'm, you got my full attention. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I really hope you understand.